Hello everyone, I'm geologist Philip Ong. In today's quick take, we're going to be looking at the effects of the last two days of heavy rainfall on a lava lake at Kilauea Volcano Summit. Start with a compilation of USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory web cameras. This upper image is the S1 camera with north and about this direction. I've enhanced this particular screen capture. The bottom left panel is the KW camera with north and about this direction, a visible camera as well. And in the bottom right panel, north and about this direction, we have the F1 thermal camera, which is measuring temperatures. We play the animation and you can see lava emitting from the west vent, filling the crater. You can see a pulse of rain come through and a lot of steam in response. It clears up briefly, more rain comes through, more steam. You can see the wave in the National Weather Service in red coming across the island from the east. Two pulses coming across with heavy rainfall accumulating up to eight inches. You can see two pulses here on the stream gauge and upper helo, but we'll turn to the USGS for more explanation how this could interact with the lava. Before everything happened in the summit, there was a, a fairly level water table that's about 500 yards below the floor, Kilauea caldera floor. Uh, this is the way it's been very stably, um, except when eruptions happen on the crater floor. In 2008, when the magma rose up to the uh, crater floor and eventually created the lava lake, as it was rising through the groundwater, it apparently developed a steam sleeve around it to insulate the groundwater from the magma, and therefore essentially prevent more explosive interactions. We know from our observations of coastal entries that magma or lava mixing with water of any kind, ocean water or uh, fresh water, can result in ex uh, minor explosions. But it doesn't always. Sometimes uh, the lava goes just straight into the ocean without much interaction. We've seen that uh, also. There are geological inferences that larger explosions have happened. Modeling based on the inferences from past explosions centuries ago suggests that two things have to occur, that is the existence of the lake, and the second is very fast rising magma coming to the surface, faster than we've probably seen in the last two centuries at the summit. So the initial rise of magma was not fast enough we have a steam sleeve, and all the rain falling from the surface just creates steam on top of the lava lake as well without any explosions. One more time, the time lapse, you can see the steam even rising from the crater walls. Thank you guys for watching.